Good, excellent. I, uh, I tried online dating last year for the first time. I did it for six months. The whole time I went on one date, he turned up half an hour late and lied about his age by 10 years. Yeah, he said he was 21, he was 11. I'm like, <laughs> we're gonna find out if you lie on your profiles, guys. Things are so different. Like when I was younger, I would use the word boyfriend. Now I'm more likely to use the word partner because I was single for so long. I thought, oh, maybe I am still a lesbian. Or, um, <laughs> or when I was younger, I was interested in men that traveled because I thought that meant they were adventurous and spirited. Now I'll just settle for a guy that doesn't use the word amazeballs, you know? <laughs> You're a grown man, don't use the word amazeballs. <laughs> Got a little bit angry there, so <laughs> fuck you, men of my past. Or, um, <laughs> the thing that's changed the most, though, is what turns me on. That has changed dramatically. Like, when I was younger, I understood those sex lines. You know those ones that you'd call up? I mean, I didn't, I couldn't afford it. But you'd call up and you go, oh, what are you wearing? And she'd go, oh, something threadbare, because I only earn minimum wage. Oh. <laughs> Whereas now, that doesn't do anything for me. And I wish that there was a phone line for people over 30s. And I'd call up and I'd go, who's this? And he'd go, it's Rowan. I'd go, oh, what are you doing, Rowan? I'm listening to you. <laughs> but I'm turning off the television first. <sighs> <laughs> and what are you? What are you doing to me, Rowan? I'm communicating my needs and setting clear boundaries with you. <laughs> <laughs> boundaries? Like what? Like, like what kind of boundaries would you set with me, Rowan? Like some weekends I won't be able to hang out with you because I'm looking after my niece. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important she has strong male role models. Oh, Rowan, are you? Yeah, I'm a feminist. Holy shit. <laughs> Tell me what I want to hear, Rowan. You want to hear it, you don't want to hear it, you want to hear it, you don't want to hear it. All right, I'm financially manageable, yes! What else? I want to sit you down and talk about shared values. I'm close, I'm very, very close. <laughs> Give me the big one, Rowan. You want the big one, you don't want the big one, you want the big one, you don't want the big one. All right, I'm emotionally available, bang! <laughs> That is a phone call I would fucking pay for. I've been Felicity Ward, thank you very much.